Hey guys, today I'm coming to you with one of my new favorite recipes and that is just a simple keto peanut butter cookie. And it's one of my new favorites because it's so easy. Literally three ingredients. Look at the ingredients. Oh God, oh, okay, I gotta set them down. <laughs> peanut butter, sweetener of choice, and an egg, that's it. That's all you need. All you do, mix these things together, bake it in an oven at 350, and you have delicious peanut butter cookies. You wanna start off with a cup of natural peanut butter of your choice. I'm using the Smucker's Natural Chunky Peanut Butter. Okay, we all know how I feel about chunky peanut butter. Comment down below right now, Team Chunky. If you're Team Smooth, like, don't even bother. There's no place for you here. I'm just kidding, but come on. Chunky adds a delicious texture and crunch, and it's just delicious. So give it a good stir, one cup into a mixing bowl. Okay, next comes the sweetener. Now guys, you can use any sweetener you want. In this case, I'm gonna be using pure, and I'm gonna be using three-fourths of a cup, and I'm gonna put this granulated pure into a spice grinder and grind it into a powdered sweetener. So you can use three-fourths cup of powdered swerve. You can use three-fourths cup of the granular swerve and then just grind it up. If you put it in there just as the granular version, it will make your cookies grainy, but if you don't mind that, live your life. If you're just using plain erythritol, you can use a cup of erythritol, and even then you might wanna add in some liquid stevia or monk fruit as well. Me, I like my desserts sweet, and the peanut butter is very savory and salty anyway, so you really want the sweetness to balance that out. So I'm gonna take 3 fourths cup of pure and grind it up. You guys, don't be afraid of the spice grinder. Like, I got this at Aldi for like $8, like just, Go to Walmart, go to somewhere, go to Amazon, and just get you a little spice grinder, and it is life-changing. Now, Pure, y'all know y'all wrong for making the serving size half a teaspoon. Like, now I gotta sit over here and try to figure out how many half teaspoons there are in three-quarter cups. Like, come on now, couldn't even have been a whole teaspoon? Half a teaspoon? Okay, so for all you math majors out there, half a teaspoon is two grams, so four grams is one teaspoon, and then there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So that's 12 grams. And then there are four tablespoons in a quarter cup. So I'm gonna times that by four, that's 48. And then there are three quarter cups in three quarter cups of erythritol. So that's 144 grams of erythritol. Come on now. And notice guys, even though the measurements I'm giving are in cups, so a cup of peanut butter, three quarter cup of sweetener, I still weigh everything out. That's just my jam. Like feel free to use measuring cups, but I like to be exactly precise. And the only way I can do that is with my handy dandy food scale. 144 grams of pure going into the spice grinder. See guys, that simple. Granular to powdered in less than 30 seconds. Finally, we're just gonna crack one egg in there. All right guys, all we're doing now is mixing this all up until it's nice and incorporated. It should become like a delicious light brown peanut butter paste at this point. Scrape down those sides. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Make sure the egg is fully incorporated and there are no slimy parts. Now at this point in the process, it takes everything I have not to just eat this whole thing with a spoon. We actually have to make cookies out of them and put them in the oven. Okay guys, this is just a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Depending on the size of cookie you like, you can make anywhere between 12 and 16 cookies with this. I like to opt for more cookies. They're smaller, but I get to eat more, which makes me feel like I'm having more cookies. So I'm gonna do probably 14 to 16. We'll just see how many it turns out with. All right, they're not gonna spread too much, so you can place them, you know, kind of close. As you can see, these are small cookies, but that's the way I like it. And I'm just taking them and smashing them down with a fork 
to give them that classic peanut butter cookie crisscross pattern. You don't have to if you don't want to. I would just recommend patting them down with your hand then to flatten them out. All right, these go in the oven at 350 for about 14 minutes or until the edges start to brown up. Hi, Maddie girl. Ha <laughs> ha. You waiting on the cookies, Maddie? You want some cookies, bub? If you want cookies, you gotta sit. You gotta sit. Sit, bubby. Sit, bubby. Getting your morning stretch on, Maddie? So you're just gonna walk around and eat random stuff off the floor. Got it. Got it. Are you gonna sit, bubby? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Tinkus. Okay. How's my beautiful angel? How's my angel girl? Maddie, you're so cute. You're so cute when you just sit there and don't do anything. Look at you, girl. Look at you, girl. All right, as you can see, my cookies are out of the oven. These were in for 16 minutes, but that's because I had the oven rack like toward the top of the oven. If it's more in the center, you can definitely do around 14. See how they just spread a little bit and they kept their shape really well and they're nice and brown. Now you guys, the kicker about this recipe is that you have to let these cookies cool. If I attempted to move one of them right now, it would just crumble and fall apart in my hand and I have no choice but to eat it, okay? We don't wanna do that. We don't wanna eat the cookies because they did not make it to the very end of the process. We want to let them cool. I'm talking 20 minutes, 30 minutes. The longer you can go without touching these things, even though they smell delicious and I want one right now, the better, okay? So with that being said, keep yourself distracted. Do something for 30 minutes, watch a TV show, or in my case, this is the perfect time to get in a workout. So I'm gonna go exercise, let these cookies cool off, and I will be back to show you the final result. It has been 30 minutes and the cookies have finished cooling. Take a look at that. Oh, that is just the cutest little cookie. Look at that. You can see it's very solid, so it's not soft and crumbly. You have to let it cool all the way. But now it's time for the best part, which is a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. The texture is like crunchy and crumbly and it's so good. This is amazing. Okay guys, and that is it. Three ingredients, 15 to 16 minutes with a bunch of cooling time, let it cool, and you get this awesome keto cookie that is peanut buttery and delicious. The complete macro information will be included in this video and the recipe and directions will be in the description box below. Okay, one more. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next time.